Hey, hey, Justin Chamnus here, the Real Estate Wholesalers Club.com, and you have just joined up here for session number two of the virtual co host sale four weeks to your first deal accountability team session. This is session number two. Hey, I'm glad to see you on here, Roslyn. There's several others that, uh, that say they're going to be here today. Looking forward to seeing everybody that does jump on. I'm very excited about today. I think we're going to have a great session. I think you're going to take away a lot of valuable things from this session about virtual coho sale. Last week, we really got into what a virtual coho sale is and what the steps are and the strategies and how you need to be able to bring a buyer's list or you need to be able to bring property deals, one of the two. Tonight, we're going to capitalize on that and we're going to talk even more about buyers and we're going to find out how successful you were. <laughs> hey, Alifa, how are you? Good to see you here. How successful were you guys at building buyers lists? And then what do you do next? Remember, this is four weeks, four weeks to your first deal. I think you're going to really love tonight. I'm very much looking forward to this. So let's just jump right into it right now. What's up, Usman? Good to see you guys. Glad everybody's here. I know more people are going to pour in. I'm not going to wait. I I've got this. It's like bubbling up inside me. I know you know what I'm talking about. It's bubbling up inside me, and I got to get this out. I, I, I got to get this out there. So I'm going to jump right in to session two of the virtual co-host sailing, four weeks to your first deal accountability team session. Brought to you right here by the real estate wholesalers club.com where we are your free source for real estate wholesaler training and mentoring. All right. Now, last week we did talk about buyers list. We, we did a little uh, step by step breakdown of what the uh, the strategy is of virtual coho sailing and how it works. I want to take just a couple minutes and do a recap of that. So let's go ahead and jump right in to the screen share and let's take a look at the steps and do a little recap now a virtual coho sale is just exactly that is that it is virtual meaning you're going to be able to do these at home in your garage in your underwear on your couch on your lazy boy uh i've even done i've even done deals on the throne okay so you can you can do deals and let me tell you the exciting part about doing these deals is once you get up and going with this stuff and you're good at it and you like it and and and, and it likes you and everybody's making money uh, you will you will have experiences like I have uh, many 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 more times than I can remember I'm sitting on the couch on a Friday night or I'm down at the Applebee's <laughs> on a Friday night with my uh, with my lady uh, my wife that I love very much we're out having a little date night and we're you know next thing you know the the phone does the jing -a ling a ling and I look down and lo and behold it's a property deal coming in from a JV partner or it's a buyer wanting to pick up a JV prop property so you know it's 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 really nice to be able to make money while you're eating at Applebee's or <laughs> I don't even like Applebee's anymore it's horrible I was thinking about that earlier you know it's like I don't know what happened to all the good restaurants they're all gone I, I guess the they say the Millennials killed that but yeah JV JV wholesaling is is awesome um, and I think you're gonna love having this as a is a vital part of your business step one it, of course this is assuming if you recall from last week that you have a buyers list built and that buyers list um, is your asset okay uh, and I want you to start thinking about it that way that is a they a list of possible customers or future customers potential future customers and I want you to start thinking about it like that because that's exactly what it is and it is an asset okay so now I had somebody ask me before if, if I would sell my buyers list in Kansas City and I have okay but I don't like it I don't like to do that because that's my customers okay so you know you'll want to develop your own customer list your own buyers list before these steps begin so it's virtual coho sale is kind of predicated upon the idea that you either have a property deal or more than likely if you're following my advice 
you're going to have a buyer's list. All right. Now, once you have a buyer's list, the steps go somewhat like this. And, and we'll, we're just recapping, so we're not going to get into detail because this is what last week's session was about. Step one is we verify that our JV pro partner has a property under contract. Okay, we ask, ask him to show it to us. All right, then we have a conversation with that person about establishing a JV fee. Uh, what is the split? And so on and so forth. And then we sign a JV agreement. Now, I want you to know down in the comments section of this Facebook Live broadcast, there is a few um, links that I posted there, okay? So I want you to go take a look at those links because in those links are the things, the documents that I am sharing with you this evening. Okay, does that make sense? So in the comments section of this Facebook group, I have already pasted the links to these documents I'm about to show you. This one here is also in the comments section as a link, and it is a JV partner agreement. This is for you, okay? This is for you to modify, to put your name on it, your company name, your, your property deals on. Make this agreement your own, but this is the type of agreement that you're going to have with that JV partner uh, from step two. You remember step two over here is to have a, uh, let's see, where is step two? Step two right here. Establish a JV fee and sign the agreement. What agreement? This agreement, okay, a non-circumvention, meaning he's not going to go around you and try to do the deal behind your back or vice versa. Non-disclosure, meaning he's not going to go tell your secrets and you're not going to go tell his secrets. And confidentiality means that you two are not going to be, uh, hey, what's going on, Crystal? It's good to see you here. JB, good to see you here. Kelvin, awesome to see you here, man. So glad everybody can join us tonight. Uh, so this is, a, this is an agreement that you can use with a JV partner and modify it. Now, uh, there's one thing I want to point out about this, and we will talk more about this agreement next week when we really dive into JV partners. But tonight, I'm just showing it to you as part of the process. All right, I have a JV partner out of Canada who says process. <laughs> uh, all right, now you see these blanks. This is where you put your name. This is where you put your, your company name, and your JV partner will put his company name. And this is agreement, it, it's written for five years. You can change it and make it for five days if you want, okay? Um, the introducing party is entitled to blank percentage of profits from any successful closed and funded deal. Or you could just limit this agreement to one property address right here by checking this box. I'm not going to take the time to go through it word for word. I put the link in the comment section. This is your document to have. But that is actually how step two is completed. So once you've seen that the property is under contract and you've established a JV fee uh, with conversation with the guy, you have a JV agreement, you fill that out with him or her, and then you're ready for step three, which is to market to your net network of buyers, your buyers list. Now, if you don't have a buyers list by now, then you know step three is going to get tough for you, right? So that's why I always say this is assuming that you already have a buyer's list or some type of a buyer relationship in that market that you can bring property deals to. So at step three, you'll want to market that property deal off to your cash buyers list. Step four, provide a cash buyer for the contract. When one of them steps up, you're going to you know fill out the paperwork which is something that I want to talk about tonight too. I want to talk about paperwork and how these deals flow and how they're put together and how you get your name on the paperwork and how you get paid. Isn't that what you want to know? You want to know how to get your name on the deal and get paid. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to share tonight about doing a virtual coho sale deal. Right now we're doing a recap of the process, the steps after building a cash buyers list. You're going to follow these steps basically. Step four, uh, you'll send the JV agreement to the title company along with the other. Hey, Janet. Hey, Michael. What's going on, guys? Good to see you here. You're going to send the JV agreement along with the, the base purchase contract, and you're going to send your <laughs> you're going to send the assignment agreement, your buyer sign, and your JV agreement to the title company. And then, of course, the last step is when your buyer goes to close, the title company pays you and your JV partner on the deal. Now, that all sounds really, really, really good, doesn't it? It sounds extremely good, and I'm sure there are probably some questions about how all 
all this stuff works and I want to take a minute really and open up the floor to some questions before we dive into uh, before we dive into how the paperwork is structured okay so we're going to get a little bit more in detail to the paperwork that we just talked about in the steps and we're going to show you exactly what this paperwork is and and what order it goes in and how to do it it's real super simple and i know you're going to understand it right away so we're not going to beat it to death but it does there is some merit in going through this the paperwork okay and showing you exactly how it works because there is a couple ways to close these deals you can close these deals in a couple different ways so we're going to go through those ways i'm going to show you the paperwork how it works how you get your name involved and how you get paid and all that good stuff and then we're going to from that point the rest of the evening we're going to spend some time talking about homework for next week and then i'm going to get a list of market areas that you guys are in so that i can start creating me and my team a list of JV partner potential JV partners for you in those market areas and I'm just gonna show you real quick exactly what I'm talking about alright hold on hold on hold on now I'm gonna get right back to it and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about I talked about this last week but I'm gonna talk about it a little more tonight this is a, an advanced tool that you really ought to have in your bag. I normally would sell this for 27 bucks, but tonight I'm not selling it for 27 bucks. I'm going to give it away. Okay, this is the Coho Sale Jumpstart list. This is what you are looking for, all right? You are going to have a list with contact information, all right? See, I blacked out a lot of this contact information down here because I don't want you taking it from me. Uh, I want to give it to you, all right? So I'm going to give it to you tonight in your market area, one market area of choice. Whatever that one market area of choice is for you, I will, at later on this evening, I will collect that list uh, from everyone, and then my team will produce the Coho Sale Jumpstart list, which is, again, a list of JV partners, Active, these are active wholesalers in your in the market area of your choice, okay? These are people that have property deals and that get property deals, yo, right? Okay, you see the beauty in this? All right, this is this is what's up. Okay, I'm going to hook you, you guys up with that. You guys want to get hooked up with that? Man, I'm seeing the hearts flying everywhere. You guys must want this stuff. You must really, really want it bad. You guys see the beauty in this stuff. I know you do. So let's go ahead and start opening up the uh, let's open up the chat here and let's let's jump into some questions. I want two things to happen right now. Number one, I want questions that we can answer. Questions that we can answer from the studies last week and from your experiences during the week and in your homework and so on and so forth. Questions about virtual coho sailing. So one, we want questions, and number two, I want to hear how you guys did. How did you do when it came to buyers lists? Okay, did you guys do pretty good? Did you struggle? Where did you find the best success at? All right, so we're gonna jump right into this stuff right now, right now. All right, we got questions out there. We got questions and success stories. I know we got some success stories out there. Usman, I saw you on here. Are you still here, dude? Would you be interested in calling in on the phone line and letting me tag you in here? Um, and then you can talk about your buyer's list and how you built a buyer's list over the last you know, couple weeks. And we'd love to hear that story. So if you'd like to do that, you've got my phone number, but you can call in um, right now if you want. And we'll make that work. We'll make that work. All right. So that's a, that's a success story that I know that we're having. Yeah. Call me up, man. Call me up right now. Usman, you got my phone number, dude? He's going to call me, guys. 
anybody got any questions anybody want to type in the chat any questions you have right now is the time for you okay I, i've got a question here with all these lists of wholesalers do we just ring each person and ask them if they're open to jv yeah dude it's about that simple man you're gonna have in some cases we don't have full complete contact information uh what we do have is is this Usman? Okay, I think I almost had Usman on there, but uh, something happened and we dropped. So hold on and let me see if I can get you back, Usman. <clears throat> what was I talking about, guys? I was talking about something really big. What was it? I was reading this question. Yeah, what do you do with this list of JV partner potential <laughs> potentials here? What do you do with that? Well, it's pretty simple what you do with it. Uh, you're going to have incomplete contact information on some of it. So you're going to have basically the email address for some. You're going to have, is this Usman? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you just fine, man. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, welcome aboard, dude. It Say it again. It Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to work with this technology, and uh, you know how that goes sometimes, man. But I'm glad you could. I'm glad you could connect up with me, man. I'm. I'm really glad that you're here. I see. So you're calling. You're calling from the United Kingdom, uh, by the way. For everybody that does not know, Usman is in the United Kingdom, and meaning, okay, like. England, Scotland, Ireland, that United Kingdom. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, he's calling from England, and he is building a real estate wholesaler business in the United States. Okay, so um, if you think <laughs> that you're too far away from your market area of choice, uh, think again. Okay, because even people from over in other countries can wholesale properties here. There are some different nuances to it. There are some extra foundational steps that, that they have to go through in order to set up a business entity here, like an LLC, for example. And Usman is doing all of those things. Uh, he's a part of our one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, coaching, and uh, I work with him a little bit one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, not not a real whole lot, but but I've worked with him a little bit over the phone and um, and kind of kind of to help guide him a little bit. But man, he's doing it all. Okay, <laughs> he's really doing it all. And um, he started out where you are. Um, he started out with no buyers list. Is that correct, Usman? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm very new to uh, wholesaling, and uh, basically. I'm, I'm more of a digital marketer, that's my background, uh, and I've been in digital marketing since December, so about six, seven months. Uh, I came across uh, wholesaling because I'm quite, uh, I know a little bit about Google Ads, and then I know someone who does Google Ads, and I'm, I'm a specialist in Google AdWords as well. And um, someone told me they're getting leads, uh, and they're really killer crushing it in the wholesaling niche. And they've kind of gone on that route and they've gone into uh, wholesaling real estate. And that's the first time I've heard of this concept of real estate wholesaling. And, you know, the market entry to this, this niche is like, you don't need any money. And it kind of was quite appealing to me because I always thought you need like hundreds of thousands or millions of pounds to invest into real estate. But right. that's when I realized you don't. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, man. Um, uh, you don't. You don't need any money really to get started doing this. And uh, and you say you just just recently discovered the concept of real estate wholesaling. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From just about, I'd say probably three to five weeks, about four or five weeks ago. Um, wow. And then obviously, I did, I've been doing a lot of research into this on Google. The good thing is there's plenty of free stuff out there. Yeah. Well, ultimately, like you're saying, the, the YouTube University, where you, you have to compile everything together and it could take years of making mistakes and stuff. There's books uh, written by successful real estate wholesalers. Yeah. And then I, I've 
I've been researching and I came across you and I really liked your videos and I liked your tutorials and you sounded so real and I could relate to you. And yeah. I thought, you know, why not give you a go? And yeah. uh, I'm really liking what I'm seeing with you and hopefully we can get to the first deal uh, in oh, no yeah. time, hopefully. Man, I think you've yeah. got, you're headed in the right direction. You're You're on the fast train. And uh, I think you're going in the right direction real fast. And I'm, I'm really excited for you, Usman. Um, um, tell us, thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about how you're doing. Uh, of course, you're doing virtual co-wholesale because you're in uh, England and uh, the property yeah. deals and the buyer's list that you're building are here in the United States. So tell us a little bit more about how you started out building a buyer's list. What, what strategies... And what success gonna, have you had with that so far? I'm going to tell you some really unique tricks and uh, that I've picked up through my experience as a marketer. Uh, you're not going to hear this. And um, unless on, some of you guys asked me last week how I got to two, three hundred buyers in Memphis, Tennessee. It's really simple. Um, like you, uh, based on your uh, coaching calls that we've had over the few weeks, you told me to get into every single forum uh, or group in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, real estate group, which I did. Yes. Um, some of them are posted like, oh, please, can you, um, all the buyers who have got cash, cash buyers, can you please uh, PM me your email address or drop me your email address. Right. Not many people got, some people got back to me, but a lot of people did. So what I did was, all these groups, like our group here, and all the all Facebook groups, they've got this search tool. They type in there, just type in the search uh, um, engine, type in email, and just press search. And then everywhere where people have asked for emails for cash buyers will come up, and then you can right. copy the email addresses. Like that. Right. Yeah, that's excellent, yeah. man. Um, I was going to yeah. show, I, in fact, I'm glad you said that because I was going to show tonight. Um, and then it kind of slipped my mind a post that I found last night real late on on a Facebook group where somebody else yeah. was asking if there are any cash buyers out there. And there was a bunch on that that had already commented. And believe me, I mean, I have stolen all of those buyers myself many times before. That is ex you're absolutely right. It, but um, you've taken it one step farther. And when you put it in the search, a Facebook email, uh, you can pull up all of the places where people have asked for yeah. emails. That's awesome. Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah. I, I like, yeah, when you type an email in the search, uh, the, uh, search engine of that group, some people have actually posted, please only cash buyers send uh, post your emails, no wholesalers. Yeah, right. Yeah. It, it feels to that all the people like this because you don't want wholesalers' email addresses, you want cash buyers. Right, exactly. Uh, because other wholesalers, they would be JV partners potential yeah. uh, with the property exactly. deals, but you're looking for cash buyers. Yeah, right. Yeah. You can you can you can easily get out of sixty to eighty emails just like that. Yeah, sixty or eighty emails right away. How many how yeah. many have you been able to get for your cash buyers list in uh, in Memphis, Tennessee? Uh, cash buyers list. Uh, I've got about two fifty. Um, but I've got, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a very good trick. That's one. Number two, LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn. Yeah. Because I'm a marketer, I've got LinkedIn. I've changed my LinkedIn a bit now uh, to suit the real estate wholesaling niche. Because uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not pro projecting myself to be a digital marketer anymore. Right. I wanna, you know. Sure. So basically, uh, I've got some tools. Um, you don't have to get these tools. It's up to you. But you can get these tools. Like it's called Sales Navigator. I don't know if you know about this. It expands your search in LinkedIn. You can connect with a lot more people. I see. And, uh, I've got I've got this uh, little tool like a robot. Yeah. I just set it that I want to connect to 100 people a day, and it acts like I'm typing. So LinkedIn doesn't uh, like suspend me basically. Yeah. Um, so I send these automated messages out to people every day. And some people connect, but they don't reply back. But some, I have got a few email addresses from people in Memphis, like real estate brokers and agents, saying, yeah, um, you know, um, this is my email. And when you get something, please, yeah. please uh, send it to us. That's a great idea, man. Uh, those, That's a super good idea, too. LinkedIn is a great source for cash buyers, too, and, and investors. And actually, all kinds of contacts yeah. 
come from LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah. I should yeah, have mentioned actually, that. Actually, You're actually right. the best the best tool so far, even better than them two though. So you're having more success out of LinkedIn. That's great. No, no, no. No. The tool even better than this. Better than these two. Facebook and LinkedIn even better than these two. It's called something called a D seven lead finder. I don't okay. know if you've heard of this. I have not heard it's of that. D7, it's called D seven lead finder. You type in that. You go onto this portal. Uh, a D seven lead finder. It's a website. Yeah. And you, I think you register with that. I can't remember if it's free or I think you have to pay. You might have to pay more to get a list in that area. But anyway, it's, it's a very minimal charge, like three dollars, five dollars, or something. Yeah. But what you get is like you can type any niche in any market area in the US and or even in the UK or Canada or anywhere. It'll give you like, for example, if you want to find dental practices or dental owners in Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. They'll give you like two, three hundred, every single dental owner. Wow. Their name, their email, yeah. their telephone number, their website, their Facebook, their LinkedIn, everything. Is this something that you would be willing to share with us as a group, like a, the link to it, so that we could go check it out for ourselves? Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, no, I've, I've told you now anyway, but I can, I can send you the link, whatever. It's called D7, D is in Delta, D7 Lead Finder. So when I put in... When I put in, um, it gives us, it gives you a few options. Uh, it says real tools. I didn't select that. I put real estate brokers, real estate brokers, and the market I chose was Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. And when I selected that, it came up with I think was it 159. It came up with two three hundred um, real estate wow. brokers in yeah. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. So I got two three hundred straight away. Yeah. But not all of them had email addresses. Sure. Uh, I think 100, 159 had email addresses. Right. Yeah. And from the from the others that never, we st I still got their email. I still got their website and telephone number. So some of them you can even ring and say, "Hey, look, I'm just on your website and I want to pay your email. Uh, I've got. I don't have your email. Can you just send it to me so I can, right. have, you know, send you any yeah. copy deals that I get? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, man. That sounds super good. Um, you said D seven lead finder. Lead finder. Okay, awesome. Yeah. yeah, guys, if you want to check that out, uh, check that out. Usman says he's having a lot of success with that, and uh, lots of good information. It sounds like you can pull right off of there. Hey, Usman, uh, I'm gonna jump back on the show here, but uh, man, I really appreciate you calling in and sharing with us. Uh, you got about 250 names on your and emails on your list now that I think that sounds absolutely amazing. I think you're just doing everything that you need to be doing right now. And uh I think yeah. you you're, you're going to have a lot of success in this, dude. Yeah, I mean uh, I'm looking forward to connecting with um with other wholesalers and yes, doing joint ventures, but I mean like I want you to know like a lot of um uh, wholesalers open to JV are you asking if they're open to JVing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of wholesalers are open to JVing, um, and there are some that aren't, and that's okay too. Yeah. I, I have yeah, of I, I have propositioned many, many, many wholesalers to JV with me, and I have been turned down very few times. There have been, oh, yeah, there's been some times that they said, well, you can add your fee on top or you can rearrange it this way or we can do it this way. Um, there's, yeah. th they want a deal too. You know, you got to think of it like that. These JV partners, when we get to that point, uh, which we'll be doing that next week, because uh, I'm going to provide that list. We're going to get everybody's market area. So I'm going to provide you with a list of JV partners, uh, active wholesalers in Memphis, Tennessee, and we're going to next week, we're going to talk about ta calling them and talking to them or emailing them, getting in touch with them and, and establishing a relationship and getting some property deals to sell to your list. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. Obviously, I would, I'm looking for, I think, like you're saying, co wholesaling is a great way to get your feet wet and into wholesaling for newbies like myself. Yeah. But all boils down to number one is what split they want. Like, ideally, we'd want 50 50, wouldn't we? Yep. Um, yep. Number two is like it depends on the deal. Like obviously, the more the merrier. You want the deal to be worth at least ten k, eight k, ten k. If it were, if it's a two k, you're gonna get one k each. That's obviously, correct. it depends. The, yeah. the more the merrier, really. But on yes. average, what you see, like I know market 
market difference. But average, what would what would attract you and get you out of bed? The average wholesale assignment fee is 10K. That's what I tell people that they should shoot for. Yeah. Uh, I try to keep it at a minimum of 10K. But with that being said, I have put many a deal together and made a thousand or two thousand bucks. And uh, you know, I'll yeah. I'll take those too, man. I mean, I'm not doing a whole lot for the work. Why not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. But you don't want to devalue what you do as well. I know what you're saying. Yes, sir. You shouldn't get mad at your money. Uh, you shouldn't get mad at your money. And uh, money is money at the end of the day. We should be grateful. Uh, but at the same time, like we should have a certain expectation of where deals should be as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I, uh, I fully take on what you're saying, and I really appreciate your advice. Yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. Hey, thanks for jumping on here, Usman. Um, I'm gonna jump back no, here on the no. class, and we'll, me and you, will catch up again. Let's set up another call, man. Just you and me, and 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 talk again. But uh, mm-hmm. but hey, thanks for time. thanks for coming on here and sharing, man. We'll, with you. Yeah, we'll talk soon. Thanks, Usman. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Hey, everybody. That's Usman from the UK. What a, what an awesome dude, man. He's really moving, moving and shaking. He's he's doing things. He's got to he's got to be great at this. Hey, gang. If you're looking for a little extra help, a little extra assistance, I want to let you know that at JustinShamness.com, we do have more advanced courses for real estate wholesaling and that's bank owned wholesaling the co-wholesale joint venture as well we also have outsourcing your business business management lots of other things and new things are being added all the time so check us out there plus we do have that one-on-one phone consultation and deal closing assistance so we really really do want to provide you with everything we can to help you be a complete success at this thanks guys and check it out we'll talk to you soon let's get back to the show Hey guys, you could do this too. Usman just found out about the concept of real estate wholesaling. He said five or six weeks ago, he's got 250 people on his list. There's no, he's in England, man. And you're, you're not in England, probably, you're probably in the United States. So there's no reason why you can't do the same type of thing. Um, now, with real estate wholesaling, Virtual co-wholesaling, building that buyer's list is absolutely key, absolutely paramount. So, uh, are there any questions about what we talked about last week or anything else at this point? Yeah, all right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into how these deals are structured. And there's really uh, just a few ways that you could do a real estate virtual coho sale deal. And I'm going to show you just real quick here. The real estate virtual coho sale deal is done by way of what we call a double assignment. <laughs> a double assignment. Double assignment. Now, I'm sure some of you are familiar with the double assignment, but a double assignment is exactly what it is. It's it's in a real estate wholesaling deal. You know how you have an assignment agreement? Well, in a virtual co-wholesale, because there's two wholesalers, there's two assignment agreements, okay? Uh, I want to show you a little bit here about what I'm talking about. That's that non-circumvent, non-disclosure confidentiality agreement. That, that's your JV agreement. And let's see here. Ah, uh, where'd we go with this stuff? Here it is down here. Now your JV partner has an agreement with the seller. And this is what this is probably somewhat what it looks like. It'll be different than this, but this is a base purchase and sale agreement. So the JV partner with the property deal is bringing a document similar to this one uh, to the table. He has had it filled out by both he and the seller okay now I'm saying he but it could be she all right I know I'm, I'm what am I gender Norman people or to death or something I don't know like I'm probably guilty I don't mean to be but anyway this is a base purchase and sale agreement this is what your JV partner has with the seller now when you bring a buyer you are going to want to provide an assignment agreement for your 
JV partner to sign, <laughs> right? Now, your JV partner is going to sign this because he's the assignor, and you are going to be the assignee, your company name, all right? Now, once that's all done and that's signed up, what that has done is, is that has, that has assigned the original purchase and sale agreement over to you. Now, it outlines what the fee is and what the split is. And remember, you've got a JV agreement as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring another assignment agreement to the table when your buyer is ready to go. And then they are going to have this assignment agreement filled out. And you are going to be the assignor. And your buyer is going to be the assignee. Right now, uh, here's a good question. Do you want us to write down the list of buyers or write every single name of the investors? What I want you to do, Janet, is I want you to go put it into an email blaster system, name and email address, so that you can email all of them by pushing a few buttons from your computer or your phone. I recommend getresponse.com. There is a free version. It doesn't do quite as good, and that is MailChimp.com. Okay. Now, the second assignment agreement is going to be between you and the buyer, and you are going to be the assignor, and the assignee will be the buyer. Thus, two assignment agreements, right? Thus, why we call it a double assignment, all right? Now, once all of those assignments are signed, right, and you have the purchase and sale agreement too, right, it's, you still have that, you will send both of those assignments with the purchase and sale agreement with your JV agreement and invoice to the title company. Now, remember the JV agreement, that's over here, that's this JV agreement, Remember, this is where you and your JV partner agreed to, you know, that's step number two. If you recall over here, step number two, sign the agreement with the JV agreement. That's it. You're going to send that along with the base purchase and sale agreement. And you're going to send that along with, right, here's the base purchase and sale agreement. You're going to send the first assignment agreement assigning it to you and you're going to send the second assignment agreement assigning it to your buyer and then you're also going to send an invoice this is called a letter of direction but it it's basically an invoice okay you can get on doc or like what is it microsoft word or something and just type in for templates of invoices and just create one and all it is is it's just a simple little note to the title company authorizing telling them how to pay you here's an example of one that I actually used it says I we authorize Continental Title Company to pay the following to Eagle Beaver Capital that happens to be the name of one of my companies as part of an assignment contract for a purchase and sale contract as per the following details Here's the address, the seller's name, buyer's name, a sign or closing date. This is all stuff that you know from the other documents. The total assignment fee, less due to sellers, eighty thousand. That means there was eighty-eight, there was eight thousand five hundred dollars profit to be made, right? Except I had to pay a deposit of fifteen hundred to somebody. I, I don't remember. Somebody paid fifteen hundred to me. That's what it was. So they had to give me seventy-one hundred when they closed. That's a pretty good deal. So I made uh, $8,500 on that one deal. But now this letter is just an invoice. You know, I don't want to get caught up on the money here real quick. <laughs> I start to get all, I start to get all googly eyed shit, man. Looking at, I was like, oh yeah, look at this deal. Oh yeah, I killed that one. Man. So that's pretty good. Now here's one I didn't do for 10 grand. Okay, Usman, this one was not 10 grand, but it was worth doing anyway. See. Uh, it was uh, it was eighty five hundred, so that was worth it. Now, what I would also do, and you can see my signatures down here at the bottom of this invoice. Well, that's because you sign letters usually, 
But what I would also do in this particular case is I would have my JV partner sign it as well. Right then and there at close, not the closing closing, but when, when I'm doing the assignment agreement, so on and so forth, I'm going to have my JV partner also sign. Okay, you see where I'm coming from? So when the title company gets it, they get the purchase and sale agreement. They get the assignment number one. They get the assignment number two. And they get the letter of direction or your invoice. And it's been signed by both you and the JV partner. Okay. So, you know, that's that's everything they need in order to cut you a check. You know, they've been given permission. They've seen the they've seen the assignment agreement. They've seen the JV agreement. They've seen the invoice, and all of them were signed by you and your partner. Yeah, they're they're cool with paying you now. All right, so that's kind of how that works. That's that's how the the flow goes. Now you could, if you were locked into a title company that does not do double closings, and there are some out there that won't, and you have to have to have to use that one, and they won't do it all right then you'll just have to settle probably with doing the jv agreement and sending this the the invoice that's signed by you and your partner and a lot of times the title company will pay you that way without having two assignment agreements just one so you can you can maybe pull it off that way now you could do a double escrow close but you're going to have to have transactional funds and that's a little bit more complicated i don't recommend it it's 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 more difficult for for a beginner to pull off a double escrow closing, and uh, you'll want to just go ahead and and do a double assignment, or do the JV agreement and invoice with signatures trick. <laughs> all right, that's just the real deal. I'm just telling you how this shit really goes down. All right, I'm not hiding it from you. All right, this is not secretive kind of stuff here. Um, I'm just showing you how it works. That JV agreement, man, it goes a long way. You know, so. You know, what if your JV partner is in a different state? That's a question that just came in from Janet. Makes no difference, Janet. Makes no difference. Makes no difference whatsoever. All right, we've got another question coming in. If a wholesaler wants you to add your fee on top, do you automatically pass on it? No. No, that see, I just do it like a double assignment, like we were just talking. I do, a, I, I have him assign it to me. That's what he's talking about. Assign it to you, and then you add your fee on, and then you assign it to your buyer. A double assignment. Uh, that's exactly how it works, and um, I like it if they'll, you know, let me go ahead and do the invoice and and uh, you know, <laughs> JV agreement trick without having to do a double assignment. But really, if you want to do it right. That double assignment's the way to go. And uh, so, you know, it, it's, if it's a deal for your buyer, do it. If it's not a deal for your buyer, pass on it, <laughs> right? It's that simple, guys. If it's a deal, do it. If it's not a deal, don't do it. Don't do it. All right. All right, guys, we're back. And we're talking about how these things flow. Are there any questions now about a double assignment and the paperwork involved? All right. Are there any questions about a double assignment and about how that works? Not all title companies will do a double assignment anymore, you know? And so sometimes you just do, you literally do have to, you know, change title companies or you have to you know, send your signed invoice, you and your JV partners both signed your invoice and you, you got the signed JV agreement and send that in. And most, I, I, I've never had a title company except one time ever tell me that they wouldn't cut me a check direct. And when I say cut me a check, a check, I mean, you know, do the, uh, you know, wire transfer or whatever, you know, I prefer a wire transfer, but you know what I mean? Get me that money. Get me that money. All right. One title company in my entire career. And I can't I can't even believe that they did it. 
That's the only one that ever gave me any problems about paying me. And you know what? They said it's because I wasn't a realtor. And it says they were owned by a broker, a realtor broker, and that they didn't want to work with wholesalers. What in the world? <laughs> they didn't want to work with wholesalers? Oh my gosh. Why don't you like wholesalers? What is it about wholesalers that you don't like? Has somebody hurt you in the past? Has somebody made you question if you could ever love a wholesaler again? I hope not. I'd like to see if I could make it up to you. Can I make it? Can I make it better somehow? <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Somebody said they want to they want a JV partner with uh with Usman. Get that money. Cameron Harrison, what's going on, brother? I don't know what shit doesn't make sense, but I'd like to help make it make sense if I can. Rosalind says she's dying. Somebody better call an ambulance. <laughs> Somebody better call an ambulance. She's dying. Yeah. All right. Let's jump on. Uh, let's jump on the next thing. And uh, here's what I, sh I should have done: the story time and talked about how how I got rejected by a title company once. Guys, this only happened one time. My whole career. All right. Let's talk about homework. I know you guys did your homework. I know you did some homework. Homework tonight. Continue building your buyer's list. Oh! I know you didn't even want to hear that shit. Yeah, you didn't even want to hear that. You thought she was going to move on and catch a check. Uh. All right. We're gonna jump right into homework. Doing your, building your cash buyers list. Build that thing, build it. Hey, that's not it. Hang on, that's not it. We got more homework for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it is right now. All right, guys, here's part of your homework. Part of your homework. I've put the link in the comments of this deal here of this <laughs> of this deal here of this broadcast hey it's in the comments down below and it's a cash buyer information sheet <clears throat> your job this week before next session session three is to number one continue building your cash buyers list don't stop why would you want to quit building a, a list of customers that seems crazy. You got to keep building it and building it. When do you stop? Never. 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 Incorporate, automate, outsource, move on to something else, guys. You're business owners, all right? Snap two. Get this buyer marketing shit on target and start making it like you know automated and, and rhythmic where you don't have to eat up your whole day and your whole mind with it all the time and then you've always got new buyers new buyer new buyers fresh meat fresh blood coming in fresh money you got contacts with money now that's number one keep building the buyers list number two if you have your buyers list plugged into an email blaster system like I've told you you should, okay? Uh, if you did that, great. If you didn't, keep doing it, okay? Start doing it. Do it, okay? Don't put it off. Put them into an email blaster system. Go to realestatewholesalersclub.com and go all the way to the wholesaler tools section. It's not going to take, I said go all the way to the wholesaler tools. Actually, it's not that far. It's just like a button right there. So just click that button and then go to the wholesaler tools section 
and down there is getresponse.com. I think there's a seven day free trial or something, man. And MailChimp is free, and but I don't like it as much. But anyway, get them plugged into an email blaster system. Number one, keep growing your list. Number two, I want you to send them an email. I want you to introduce yourself. And I want you to ask if anyone is interested in buying property deals this month. Okay. And then I've got down here in the comments section of this video, the link to this buyer information sheet that you're looking at right here. And then I want you to set some appointments to have conversations with some buyers. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I said I'm gonna you're gonna have to talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh my I almost just You can do it! <laughs> you totally can do it! It's just a conversation! It's just setting appointments with people who are ready to buy and then having a conversation with them, asking them about, you know, hey. Do you have, uh, you know, particular zip codes that you like, beds and baths, number of those, you know, square footage, you know, what kind of, take the buyer information sheet and have fun, go to town with it, you know, but most of all, build a relationship with these people because that's what it takes. It takes a relationship with them and it's not hard. I know you can do it. <laughs> So as you continue building your buyers list this week, I want you to go ahead and send everyone on your buyers list an email and get them as many as you can, three, four, five. Not one, three, four, five, at least more if you can and have a phone conversation with them, not email. Okay, start there maybe, but then go to phone and let them know you're real and that you're not a scam and that you're ready to do deals and bring deals and you just want to know more active buyers and you want to know all about what they're looking for and you're excited to do this. I'm not asking you to be a cash buyer employee. I'm asking you to be good at what you do. And if you don't know what your customers are ready to buy, then how the hell are you going to sell them anything? Oh my God. If you don't know what your customers want to pay cash for, then how in the world do you ever expect to pay cash? All right, so. That's what's up. That's your homework. Have some buyer conversations. Fill out that buyer property, buyer information sheet. Get to know your buyers. Get to know them. Do they have kids? Do they have a crew of their own that does the work? Are they landlords? Or how much do they spend? 70% uh, all in, uh, you know, 70% of the ARV after repair value? Or are they 80% or 90% or what, what are they? Are they hard money loan kind of go-getters? Or are they cash or are they, they do they require an appraisal or do they require you know their mother to come over and tell them that everything is going to be okay you know build relationships with these people these are your customers they're going to be buying from you don't you want them to know your name and like i always say nobody and i mean nobody gets rich in this business alone You've never done and you never will do a real estate transaction all by yourself. Think about it. So we all need help from time to time. And I look forward to being that help for you. That's it. That's the conversation that you have. Hi. Nobody gets rich in this business alone. I look forward to being a help for you. <laughs> Man, is that freaking genius or what? It's just fucking genius. I'm sorry, but it is. It's that simple. It's like ACDC, the band.
like three chords on every song, but it's the most kick-ass shit you've ever heard, right? Well, what do you say to the ones that somebody asked them this question? Let's go ahead and do this question right here. Let's. This is a good question. Let's do this question. What do you say to the ones you call that say, just send me everything you have? I don't want to share any details with you about my buying business. I just want you to do some work for me and send me a bunch of shit to look at that I'm never going to buy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Buyer, sure, I'll send you whatever I get. Uh, you know, it would be helpful if I could, uh, you know, kind of pinpoint some things and keep my eye, uh, you know, sharp when I'm out there uh, looking at things and, and, you know, keep you in mind. But I, but I understand, you know, if you if you don't know what it is that you like to buy, I guess that's okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I'll send you an email. Goodbye. Click. All right. That's what's up. That's how you handle that stuff right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Homework. Build that buyer's list. Keep building it. Keep building it. Never stop. Never die. Never surrender. Because only you can make the difference that you want to see in that marketplace. And only you can bring to the table the things that you can bring to the table in the way that you bring them. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, your market is ready for you. It's ready for you. Don't give up, guys. Build that buyer's list and have some buyer conversations. A buyer conversations. Buyer conversations. That's the homework this week. Get that buyer information form filled out. Before you log off here tonight, Drop in the comment section your market city of choice. My team is going to go to work and build that Coho Sale Jumpstart list for you this week. Only people in this group tonight are getting it for free. I'm going to build a list of active wholesalers on it. Wouldn't it be cool if when we did the scrape and research on it, we pulled you out of that mess because you're active in your market now. Ha! Imagine that! We found you! Moving up in the world. You'll know you've made it when you hit the Coho Sale Jumpstart list yourself. But put your market down in the, if you don't put your market down in the comments, then I won't know to have my team scrape that city, okay? You gots to do it. If you don't do it, then I don't, you won't get the Coho Sale list. Oh, here they come. Memphis, Tennessee, Omaha, Lincoln, Nebraska, San Diego, California, Massachusetts. What, what what city? What city? What city, Rosalind? What city? I can't do all of Massachusetts. I can't do the whole state. I can do a major, major metropolitan area within that state. <laughs> Grandview, Missouri. Woo! We got somebody hailing from my market area. Woo! Janet Franklin stepping up. I'm happy to see that, Janet. I wonder if I made the list. You know I did. You know I did. You know I'm on it, man. I'm ready to JV right here. <laughs> all right, guys. I love y'all, man. We've been on here for all fuck. We've been on here all night, man. I've got to. I've got to jump off here and go see about cooking up some dinner for myself or something. I don't know what we're eating, but I want some. Oh, steak. I forgot we're having steak baked potato. I gotta go, guys. <laughs> Okmogi, Oklahoma, Florida, Treasure Coast. You gotta pick one, man. JB, I can't do them all, man. You gotta pick one major metropolitan area, county area. Well, give me a zip code. Give me something. Help me to focus down. All right, love you guys. We're gonna get this done. My team's going to do what my team does. And they're going to get the JV Coho Sale Jumpstart list ready for you guys. Now, will you do your part? <laughs>
and have buyer conversations. See, that's what I want to know. Because next week, I'm going to pull you guys up here on the carpet. I'm going to say, who's going to tell me a story about some great buyer conversations they just had in their market choice? <laughs> you guys see how you're building this? You're building it right here. You got a buyer's list going. You got a way of reaching them, right? And then you already know how the flow goes. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in JV Partners next week to bring property deals. And then in week four, we're going to finalize everything and talk about how to put the marriage together. And if you don't have a deal going already, you know you will have one soon. Okay, it's that easy, guys. I love you. Have a great night. I'm proud of every one of y'all. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video. Just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.